MTV Unplugged 19 years ago. Wow. Talking MTV about getting old. Awesome. When MTV was awesome. That was a tail end. That was about, about it, right? About being awesome. They yeah. haven't been awesome in uh, 19 years. It's been a it's been a long time. A long, long time. Well, they're unplugged series. What a genius move that was. I don't know why that ever went away. That never gets old. That was great. Although there were some bands that, you know, they they needed, were stretching it a little bit. They needed distortion and electronics it's to like sound good. It really exposed unplugged warrant. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it didn't quite cut it. <laughs> yeah, but that guy could still sing and those guys yeah, could okay. still play. There was yeah. I'm trying to think who it was. There was a couple towards the end. It's almost like the half-hour specials when they ran out right. of like headliners, and now they're like having like hosts come on. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah. Venom unplugged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, maybe they uh, spread themselves too thin. Yeah. Do you well, know, know who's was good? Brian Adams. You hear Brian Adams unplugged? Well, he could sing. Fuck, it was that great. fucking guy could sing. I was never many, a big fan of his, but I mean, you could tell the guy could. Sing. How many times did he fire the person who told him to try that glam thing that he did for half a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. He started off, and for the songs he was playing for pop, it was good. Yep. It was good. It was good music. Summer 69 and all that. I still like those songs. Sure. Yeah. And then, then he went into the chick music. Everything yep. you do, I do it for you. And then oh, it's like, that huge. Then lost me. So he's like, well, now what do I do? So, hey, why don't you put some eyeliner on and uh, spike up your hair? What was the song from that era? <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't remember I just either. Saw but it and I, was I just remember like, he did try that. Yep. Some of these guys. I never get, saw him again. Some of these guys get kind of talked into following the the hot music trend. Yeah. It, it even happened to Ozzy for a split second, and then he realized, what am I fucking doing? He survived the 80s but when he, he had the fucking uh, the shot in the dark video yeah, right. yeah, with yeah. the doves and the big robe and his fucking barefoot. <laughs> right. But he survived. <laughs> fucking survived. Ozzy was a trooper, man. He fucking uh, he, he survived that the 80s. That was funny, man. But yeah. he was standing on, like, what he was standing on before he did that. If that was right. early in his career, that would have uh, been he, rough. He, 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 he had, like, a Bette Midler hairdo, but we're like, you know what? He did sing Iron Man. Right. I'm going to give him a pass on this song. <laughs> yes. Well, but, not the song. The, 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 the then video. he got rid of that <laughs> hair and he never went back to yeah. any of that shit. Was, I'm not... was that the Ultimate Sin album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When everybody was thinking about nuclear war and had a message. People get influenced. Uh, uh, the one we like to bring up a lot is Rush, Roll the Bones with the rap. Oh, with the rap. <laughs> when rap, <laughs> rap and Rush. When rap really started to become something white people started listening to. They got caught up in it and they tried their rap and Roll the Bones. Uh, I'm like, what are you doing? See, it's, this, this is the only time I ever hear. This is Rush, yes. Uh, who, who is rapping? Fab Five Freddy? No. <laughs> Don't tell me Neil Peart. Uh, no, I think it's, uh, what's his name? Alex Lifeson? Alex Lifeson, I think. For real? I think so. I would have loved to have heard all three of them trying to see who raps the best. <laughs> right. <laughs> who's going to do the rap part? You know, there's who's, a tape who's, somewhere. Who's taking this track? <laughs> right. They either all fought it and said, I'm better, or they all fought it and said, no, it's got to be you. Yeah, yeah. But they all, either <laughs> it, the winner did it terrible. or the loser. It's terrible. It doesn't, it doesn't. Oh, come on. It doesn't suck, but it, it, it stinks. It's, it's rush. It actually sounds rush, like the beginning though. of a it's bad weird. 80s mu movie. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible stuff. It's you know, what's got talked into some shit, like, and more recently was that whole LeBron James decision thing. You know, he didn't come up with that shit. That just reeks of agent publicist. But, and we'll have an hour long of just you saying where you're going. But, all right, man, already right, he's playing you, like dominoes or something. All right, yeah, that sounds good. But, tough. but how clueless <laughs> is he that he didn't understand how important he was to he's Cleveland? He's like 24, 25. I, and, and the argument, because it comes up a lot on this show, he had every right to go to Miami. Yes, it was mm. the way he did it. He had no idea that he was everything to that city. He should have just Which left. is rare. Yeah. This is kind of an old story, but yeah. I know, <laughs> but that's why people got so fucking pissed at the guy. Well, he made cities beg, and then he chose the trophy wife. Right, down right. In, uh, uh, and then they yeah. got their fucking trophy. I'm so, ugh. It was a good move, though. I, I love, I mean, I, I love, I love that they were going year after year without winning As long anything. as the Lakers don't win, year, I'm happy. But. Well, Miami you know. is still an expansion franchise to me. They got two banners. I don't care. Mm. I don't care. We you're, got 17. You're, I, I, go saw you, I saw you tweeting about the Lakers. They're in a bad spot this year. Nah, and then, and then they don't go with Phil Jackson. They'll be fine. Why didn't they grab yeah. Phil Jackson? Because I think he wanted like a foot massage every, <laughs> every game, and he didn't want to go on the road. He said he didn't, but I don't buy that. Yeah, there, there was talk. The that, Zen master. There was talk dollar he would, signs. He wouldn't have to go on the road. He would just like uh -huh. kind of like coach the home games, which isn't a bad concept. How do you do that? That's terrible, though. You can't either. They're coaching or not. Yeah, well, not true. when the, you know the guy's getting older and they sort of want him, but he doesn't want to come back. That's not a, the worst deal in the world.
There's, could, no, could, there's no way he was negotiating that. There's no nobody in the history. He could Skype. He could Skype from home. <laughs> Roger Clemens, the only guy I saw, was able to do that. He he didn't go on. If if he wasn't starting, he wouldn't go on the road trips. I think when he was with the Astros. Well, don't you think it was kind of dumb for starting pitchers to go on the road ever? Why would you? Well, in case they need you. Not in, in April. In case you're losing one of those eighteen to nothing games, <laughs> or somebody blows out their arm. Yeah, but you know what? April. I mean, maybe when it's really starting to get uh, important. But, but you're a team. You don't want to separate yourself. You already financially, you're in a different league than the rest of them. It's like you don't look like a rod. It's just such a twat. A, these guys had to travel to cities knowing they were not going to play at all. It's so strange to me. That's great. Part and then the they team. got their road pussy out there. Right. They oh just no, hang I, out eating chicken. I, I, I can see why the guys beer, like do the it. Red Sox. <laughs> 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 but I'm just saying, when these pitchers got older and they're settling down and all that shit, why, why not let them hang out in their house and and be all rested for their next uh, start? Because. They get, you know the they get, you're getting paid all that money. They want you to show up to work. Yep. Well, well, you know That's the road it. sucks. And then also, yeah, and all the other plays, we go, how come he doesn't get to go? And blah, 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 blah. And my elbow doesn't feel good. I don't want to go. And then they're playing ping pong with Clemens. And the fact <laughs> of the matter is, on the road. they're fucking, when they're there at the game, they're not somewhere where they could fuck their arm up. They're not sailing and getting hit with a jib yeah. in the face or fucking, you know. Taking a boat trip in Cleveland. Exactly. Like, that yeah. was not Ooh. good for the pitching staff. Ooh, no. Ooh. Using a hedge trimmer and cutting your fucking little finger off. All right. I guess you're right. <laughs> yeah. When someone pays you that much money, they want you to come to work. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, even if you do like a TV show, it's only tapes one day a week. They'll figure out why you have to be there five days yeah. a week. Yeah. Just come in and shoot a couple of promos. <laughs> <laughs> they're exactly. gonna, they're gonna, yeah, they're just going to make you just fucking sit there. Yeah. Mm. What, are, what are you doing in town, by the way? What am I doing in town? I did a... Uh, <laughs> You're from L.A., so it's not like I, you, no, I, you I, jumped in your car and I, said, I I'm going to go see the guys. I almost forgot. I did a, uh, I did a college gig oh, okay. uh, up in Connecticut, and then I came down here to uh, you know check on my apartment, make sure it's okay nice. from all the storm disaster all and right. all that shit. And everything's then, fine? Everything's fine, thank God. And, uh, and then I'm going... I'm going to my high school, 25 year high school reunion. Oh shit! When is that? I don't know. Friday or Saturday? Oh, it's this week. <laughs> yeah, it's always like the day after Thanksgiving. Is it really? Yeah, I guess because people are off. Yeah, because everyone's home, so they figure that's the best time oh. to try to get everyone together. I yeah. went. Uh, I went to the 30th. Oh, you went to the 30th? Yeah, 15 yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? I stopped going to mine. It was crazy. It was just... It was a good time. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a good time. It was weird. Why was it weird, Ant? Because you're... So, oh, <laughs> all right. Because my date was... <laughs> My date was 18. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wasn't. Yes, yes, she was. yes, she was. How great is Anthony? Ah, so good is for crazy. you. It was, hel it was I, hilarious. What, what was that? Did you get looks? You must have got looks, high fives, Guys and dirty looks. It. The girls hated it. Yeah. I and, always knew he was a creep. Uh, and all the girls looked like the their mother's version of what they like they looked like the girls I remembered, but like their mothers. <laughs> it's yeah. like they were all, you know, it's like, oh that chick was hot, now she's just fat and old and you're like shit. Oh, it's kind of depressing. Exactly spring chicken, no, so. I realize that, you know, you, you know, I wasn't going into it thinking, you know, here comes Brad Pitt to his fucking high school reunion, believe right. me. But uh, it was yeah, just it was, weird. I, I, yes, I, I was going to improv a Brad name, and I realized nobody would recognize it, so oh. I bailed. Oh, no, you should do Good it. Job. Thanks. I've always loved your stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? Do it again. Set it's not up. like um, Brad Pitt. Certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's more like Brad Dorif. <laughs> See, that would have bombed horribly. Yeah, that would have. Who yes. Who's Brad Dorif? That's you just echoed the sentiments of fucking two hundred thousand no, no, people. No, no, no. I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> who's Billy Bibbit and Cuckoo's next? He's the antithesis of Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was the stutterer who punches That's on penis. That's actually a great reference. It really is. That's yeah. on us for not getting that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, I'm hoping it's going to be good. And I figure twenty five is a good one to go to where people. Uh -huh. Well, you're still kind of young, right? But you're not young, but you're not old, and I, you know, I yeah. think people will still have, uh, you know, the light in their eye. That's all I want to see. You just want to see the light. Well, I was nervous oh, that, you know, I, I, I had a great grade, and Fork. everybody was cool. Like I had a real like mellow grade. We went like uh, I was talking on my podcast how like the the grade above me and the grade below me, they were maniacs. Yeah. They were good guys, but I mean, every weekend there was some twelve on twelve. Battle Royal, it seemed. <laughs> there was a kid in the grade above me. His party trick was he would eat a light bulb. Wow. He would just sit there munching on it. And his 
gums would be bleeding. He'd be smiling with the blood in between his teeth. Uh, oh, my God. And somebody finally goes, yeah, dude, he had to stop. because, Yeah, because he's eating glass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I get it. Yeah. There was, and you didn't have any yeah. of that shit? You, you guys were pretty mellow, huh? We had some tough kids in my, in my grade, without a doubt. But, like, you know, it wasn't me. But <laughs> I kind of ah. dragged the average down. But, um, no, we were, we were like a party in grade. Were you popular though? Like, did you did you kind of socialize? And were you the funny guy, or were you kind of? A... I wasn't popular, and I wasn't uh, a, a loser. I was sort of, hey, he's a good shit. He's all right. Oh God, that's. Uh, you oh, did, I was in the middle. You described me too. Yeah, right there, just kind of right there. I was. Yeah, it's hilarious. not like it's not like I meet people from high school and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I can see how you became no, a always, comedian. They always go, I remember you being quiet. I can't believe this is what you do for a living. I yeah, get that a lot. I, that. I won class clown uh -oh. by a landslide, but they wouldn't give it to me because I was in rehab after a suicide attempt. Uh, oh, <laughs> so they probably figured I wouldn't look good in the yearbook. But your, your <laughs> class clown was based after Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you really the class clown? I didn't even know this. Yes, I was. No kidding. It was a That's landslide. Good. I oh, find wow. comedians are like that. They either were completely, there's no middle ground. Right, you either yes. like, I can't believe it, or Patrice was class clown. Oh, sure. Yeah, no of course. Was class clown. Yeah, uh, almost a year with this Patrice thing. Yeah. Fucking year the 29th. 29th of this month. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't resonate that it's a year because I think about him every day. It's, it's like, you yeah, know, yeah, you, yeah. you don't realize it's not like I'm going to look back and go, Oh my God, I haven't thought of him in a, a month. You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you, when someone is omnipresent in your fucking mind, it, yeah, you know, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. I watch those clips online all the time of him no. on this show. Thank God. Cause you get to watch Again. like hours and hours Just of him. Great. It's awesome. I have a picture of him, like, to the right of my refrigerator on uh, on a shelf and stuff. It's like, every day, I look and go, ah, fucking guy, man. Shit. Yeah. I have a great pic of us from Tough Crowd that I want to yeah. put up, me and him laughing on the couch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. You kind of get, like, yeah. bummed. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, why I'm going to my 25 year one? Because yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. go there. Hey, yeah. where's so and so? Uh, oh, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. I get Cement in mixer. Here. Yeah. Uh. Had his iPad on. <laughs> the, iPhone, whatever the fuck. The, it wor is. the worst thing that happened to anyone involved in my high school class no, geez. was, was uh, they slept with you. Well, they learned you. I got. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, this guy, um, and this is, I, I went to kindergarten and then through, like, I moved around the country and stuff like that and around Long Island. But then uh, I returned for, like, junior high and high school. Uh, so I knew these guys from kindergarten, and then I knew them again in junior high and high school. Uh, after high school, this one guy went over the other guy's house. His mom was there. He fucking raped and murdered the mother and then tried to burn the house down to fucking cover it up. <laughs> Sick. Wow. Was he a nice guy in school? He was a little fucking rambunctious, a little let's say. He raped the guy's mother and killed raped him? Raped and killed his mo How the old guy's was he? mother. At and the time. Uh, I guess just out of high school. Oh, just out of high school. Yeah. Are they still friends? <laughs> 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 oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> we had a kid uh, when I was a senior uh, uh, killed another kid just to see Jeez. what it was like. Wow, that's fucked up. Yeah, I think he's. That's uh, fucked up. We had a, I think he's just getting out. Jesus. We had a kid that uh, would follow cars home on the LIE yeah. and rob them in the driveway. And, uh, well, one of those uh, botched robber. There was a botched oh, robber. I remember that guy, yeah. And he got shot in the back of the head. And then his, uh, his partner there. Just dropped him and the car off in the back of the Walt Whitman, Walt Whitman Mall, Mall yeah. to die. Kid I went to high school with. He was alive, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, but you know the guy didn't want to get in trouble for you know That's robbing houses shit. and 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 assumed this guy was in deep trouble anyway. So he fucking ditched him in the car at Walt Whitman and took off. He had one guy that killed was, someone. So but what not, happened to him? That. Uh, well, he gets, the other guy. He gets, he gets charged. I don't know. I I, I didn't know the other guy. I, we just no, knew the guy happened. that died is someone we went to school with. He would have to have gotten charged, right? Uh, I would imagine they got him. There's got to be some sort of charge for uh, walking away from some guy with a. Yeah, they found. Well, if, they, if they were both involved in the robbery and that guy got shot, he's up for fucking murder. Yeah. Even though he did. Wait, who got shot in the head? The guy I knew from high school. One of the guys. One of the robbers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was so two, how so, are you charged with murder? Yeah. Uh, a death during the commission of a felony. But do you count Doesn't if you're matter. one of the criminals? I, yeah. yeah. Oh. And I didn't oh, realize yeah. we were going to talk about this Whether today, you so. shot him or not, even though the guy died during the commission of a felony, you get the murder rap. Even though he was your pal, you fucking didn't shoot him. Yeah, I believe. You get the murder rap. And that fucked up. <laughs> and what's your defense? I didn't do it. I didn't do shit. Yeah. I, I believe uh, the person they were robbing, you know, 
It was armed. Yeah. And shot back. Happens. I believe, because it, it's been many, many years. I, I didn't realize. Now your friend's dead, and you get charged oh, with his murder, even though you didn't do it. Oh, anything. the kid definitely died with a Jeez. fucking gunshot wound. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been a rough in night. In a car. Sleep. <laughs> just trying to lay there, like, at the mall. Uh, hey, maybe they'll think he got shot at the mall. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> in the passenger seat. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> waiting for someone. <laughs> yeah. I think that was our worst one. That's that I pretty, know of. That's a pretty bad one. But you lose touch with everybody, so you don't know. Yeah, there's always a drinking and driving accident. There's always it's uh, always yeah. bad. something it's bad. Yeah. And then yeah. there's a, like, then there's a, a good ten years stretch, and then something. There was a midget in my class, and I, he was actually at the reunion, and he died like just after the reunion. I was so surprised to see him around. He's like walking around this little midget. What happened? What fell on him? <laughs> <laughs> he turned. He turned out to be like he was very active in politics. I think he was part of uh, like the Clinton administration. Everyone's part of the Clinton I administration. Know. Everyone he was just come a little across. fidgety guy. A little fidgety guy. What did he die of? Fidget. He yeah. died of midget. Yeah, it's just sad. You would think that they would live longer. You'd think because I know tall people. Yeah. They, like they because their long. heart they, for some reason they get born with the same size heart so yeah. it has to work really hard to get it right. all the way down to their little twinkle toes there yeah. <laughs> and you would think being that compact right yeah that it would just they would just have blood fucking pouring so, through them but it doesn't coming circulate out their fucking so, ears yeah so if you're an older uh, tall guy why wouldn't you just cut off your legs at the knees. Oh, man. <laughs> so your heart doesn't have to work as hard. <laughs> no, you need you need a little bit of work. Like when you bypass the, the heater core. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, well, you know it's happening. You know your heart's overworking. So why not? You know, you get to an age where you're like, I'd rather live a few more years. Uh, you know. Well, what, you know, Bill Russell's like, like the only seventy year old seven oh, foot man. guy I've yeah. ever seen. You, yeah. It's it's funny because why well, you, you always hear a little old lady, a little old man. Right. Yeah. When you see a, a, an old tall guy walking around Manhattan, you you do realize immediately you're looking at something rare. You're so right. Yeah. There but you'll see old, old people all yeah. the time, but they're just shorter. There aren't old tall people. Tall people is not old, like, yeah. fat people. It's yeah. those little fuckers who got picked on in the Skinny playground. Skinny motherfuckers. Yeah, the yeah. twerps. Yeah, old fat people never. Twerps. Old tall people never. Yeah. Little people evidently, evidently not. You want to be right in that five foot six, Bro. five foot seven, five Bro, foot eight. put our fucking height in there, Bill. Huh? What are you doing to us? I don't know. We, 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 five eleven ish. But, but we got the anger. Yeah. Oh, that's good. We have like the bruised <laughs> veins. I just, the anger. I like to think that's just pushing the cholesterol through my body faster. Dude, I've been reading in this a good way. I've been reading this book, uh, <laughs> uh, Eat to Live. Right. I'm blowing my mind. It's about pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eat to Live was on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, that's, uh, that's a popular one, Eat to Live. Yeah, well, how do I top that? I can't even tell you what it is. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Holy shit. Why is the book blowing your mind? Uh, because what they're claiming is that the whole four food groups, I feel like I'm going to get hung up on. This is how, how much no, I'm, no one's ever interested in what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, really, Bill? Why don't you elaborate? Hello. <laughs> um, they're saying that the uh, the four food groups things, where they they... they Put the stress on a protein and, and dairy was actually came about by the the meat and dairy people came up with that. Oh, really? So what you're supposed to do is it's supposed to be more like salads and greens and that type of shit. And then it's you almost flip the pyramid over. Uh -huh. And uh, and I'm thinking I'm going well. Wait a minute. Then I'm going to lose all my muscle and that type of thing. And the guy's got a great argument. He goes, go to the, <laughs> the zoo and look at gorillas. All right, who look like supersized linebackers, you know? They eat 80% vegetables and 20% uh, fruit. Does he have any examples from our species, though? Yeah, no. <laughs> That's like peanuts are apparently good because elephants do well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, if he said a cockatoo, though. But if he said a uh, cockatoo... Well, we've, all, we've all been guilty. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what. Because that's what I was thinking. Like, dude, this is literally a different species. Two things. You go to a monkey and you look it in the eye at the zoo. There's no fucking... You go like, dude, that's me. That's me with just a little bit of... Uh, a little yeah. bit of something else thrown in there. Right, yeah, yeah, You see right. something in their eyes. Like, yeah, there's what? something in their oh, eyes. Fuck. They That's know they're eyes. in the zoo. That's they know eyes. they're being watched. Right. They don't yeah. like yeah, it, yeah. and they'll rip your fucking face off the same way I would <laughs> if I was sitting in a cage. Like, come a little closer, motherfucker. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. So, um, and then this thing, all these diets I've tried, and I always ended up feeling like shit. This one, actually, I feel fucking great. You lose weight? I feel like energy. Yeah. How do you not lose weight eating like a fucking rabbit? Are you eating fish though? Like, because I've tried to eat like grilled chickens. Like one of the only meats I'll, I'll really eat. And I eat a lot of uh, greens and drink a lot of vegetable juice and shit. Dude, I would literally, if I became a vegan, I would still go to a steakhouse once a week. I yeah. can't help it and smoke a Wait, cigar. Wait, so what aren't you eating? Right? <laughs> what aren't you eating? No, I'm just doing like, like just like well, breakfast and lunch. I just stay away from the shit that I used to. Those those lumberjack things. <laughs> 
Yeah, the fucking uh, big egg, egg sandwich. Ugh. Yeah, all that stuff that yeah that feels good as you're eating it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, afterwards, yeah, you feel like you have that bag in your well, stomach. Let me have two eggs over Wait. easy on a roll with the cheese and fucking bacon. We've been doing a yeah. bacon thing lately. Out of nowhere, oh, and, bacon's and, the greatest. Thing but ever. I, I told Anthony, <laughs> just, it goes to your point. I told Anthony we ate a, a bunch of bacon. I think it was Friday, and immediately you Damn. feel like shit. Yeah. Uh, is you're not on better, hell. Is there anything better than just burned oh, it's up the, bacon? It's, oh, the mo- it's, it's the best. Right. Crispy. Oh, yes. it's the greatest fucking thing But you ever. feel greasy and just shitty immediately after you eat. Even oh, pigs yeah. enjoy it. All right. You know, they smell it. And they're like, all right, we get it. Yeah. Dude, we're, I'm we're so delicious. old. I, I, I can't have a breakfast that has syrup or I'll be nodding off by 11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, syrup's good, though, man. That isn't even one of those syrup. old man hats. Uh, oh, if I have pancakes and French toast, I, which I fucking love, it's old. Yeah, it's, yeah. I'm done. By, uh, I would eat blueberry pancakes and bacon every day. If you I get that sugar rush every and then it's over. Oh, yeah. Is there anything worse than when they say they have blueberry pancakes and they just make regular pancakes and then they just Thank pour you. the shit on Thank top? That's, that's bullshit. Not, yeah, that is. Yeah. I want more blueberries than fucking pancake, too. No, it's got to be I, in there. I want, yeah, exactly. I want equal distribution of blueberries <laughs> in this muffin. <laughs> Do you know how long that's going to take? <laughs> yeah, that was such just, a great response. He's beside himself. He wanted to say, you cunt, but he couldn't. <laughs> so he asked this question slowly. Do you know how long? How long that's, How gonna, long that's gonna take? Like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> no, but I actually, yeah. Of just the shit that I've been reading, this is the first, and he has, he has like, uh, what's great? He has f- like a, like forty pages of the book is just footnotes from shit that this guy's actually he's mm. done all the reading for you, and uh, I don't know, it's been working for me. But yeah, you still gotta cool. do it though. It's easy to read that shit, but then you start trying to do Dude, it. Dude, the first three days of sitting there eating a salad, I wanted to fucking kill, kill myself. And yeah. halfway through the third day, I, it's weird. It's like drugs. You Acceptance. actually start going like, oh, tomato. No. You start, you swear to God. Wow. You start craving it. Yeah, I've been that... eating salads without dressing on it. Holy shit. That's yeah, a... that's fucking hard. It's, it's, it's hardcore, but then after, yeah, literally. No, man, I, that's how I eat my salads. Eat like a rabbit shit. If you like get a, a really good salad, the, the flavorings <laughs> and the vegetables, you don't really need the dressing. <laughs> meal in, meal out. That's what I am right now. It's fucking ridiculous. No, but I like them. To, I, I'm always afraid it doesn't taste. I like washed vegetables when I eat them. Like, I don't like them to taste dry. Like, dry. Uh... That's where you get, you get the little fucking crank thing there, Jimmy. What's that? You, you, you put the lettuce in there, you, you hose it off. Oh, and you, oh yeah, I, I don't like, like yeah. that ride at the, at the yeah, carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except nobody pukes. <laughs> Do you eat chicken in it or anything? I don't like to have it too I like a little bit of grilled chicken in my salad. I, I try to go the whole, the breakfast and lunch without doing the meat thing, and then uh, then wow. by fucking dinner, I eat like a fucking <laughs> animal. <laughs> An antelope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Taken down prey with fucking right. bite to the throat. Yeah. No, because I don't give a shit if it's... St- you gotta live. So I figure yeah. I'm offsetting, you know, like kale and that type of stuff. No, is, that's is, a good is fucking, So yeah. I offset it, and then at night I throw down and I try to have a, a, a good cut of something. Dude, it's two-thirds less of eating like shit. You know, it's two-thirds oh, yeah. of your meal. Oh, How, an, anim, an animal fucking took one in the face every fucking t- every meal I had. It was over. got choked out. I ate a pig. I ate a pig at breakfast, a chicken or a cow for lunch. And then, and then for fucking dinner, I ate another cow or a chicken, maybe a fish. Yeah. Maybe I punched a trout in the face. I have a fish don't care. No, 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 no. Three times a day. Do you think fish care? Yes. Uh, do they have any yeah, they clue? Do. And I also think clue? lobsters feel it. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I, mean, I won't I'm eat lobster for lobsters. that reason. I don't eat lobster because yeah. of that Or crab. Occasionally. I eat fucking crab. You gotta delicious. eat that. That's a you gotta eat that lobster shit. I fucking... You gotta... Come on. Just guys, knock the fucking thing on his dumb shell guys head. Guys their life uh, That's what I yeah, there the, How hard is that? Crush his head with a fucking hammer. That, re- that, that mope. That releases what? Something that no, makes it doesn't. the fucking meat? They're not just saying that. Good. They're full of shit. They're just the, saying dude, that to make it fucking more you humane can, that they're you killing it. You flick a, a lobster in its jaw and you'd knock it out. All you gotta do is just get it to rattle around <laughs> in the fluid. <laughs> <laughs> flick him in the jaw. Just He's down. Right, right underneath. He's down. You hold his claw up like <laughs> the Hulk. Isn't it enough? Goes you down tape. and it stays up. You yeah. fucking put rubber bands around its claws. Can so, you imagine? That's like you being tied with your hands behind your back and open boil. He doesn't feel anything. <laughs> you think that would stress out the lobster? So it's already stressed, which means it's it releasing all that There's shit. There's got to be some douche. That's going to write in about their fucking neurological system and, and the reason. I, I don't buy yeah. it. If you eat lobster, you should be able to handle it without the fucking rubber bands on its claws. That should be the challenge to if you. If you're going to boil something alive, right. you, got, you can't yeah. have it declawed. <laughs> right. If nature puts That's claws on it to protect it, that means it obviously can feel something. Like anything that can't feel doesn't mm. have a natural defense that's just yeah. genius like claws. You think a jellyfish really has a fucking 
intelligence to it? Maybe not intelligence, but they still. They, um, you don't. You don't need an intelligence to feel <laughs> fish pain. I don't think yeah. fish don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. About, you know how funny that was. Well, <laughs> did he do anything from this species? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the elephants eat peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> it treats them pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I really am a dope. Anything I read, uh, I believe. Great. Dude, no, but it's, it's you know, great. look, it's the, I, I'm trying to eat good and drink a lot of vegetable juice. It's like it's not my idea. I've heard it over the I years. I drink vegetable mm. juice every, every day. Every day I drink beet juice, beet carrots, yeah. fucking kale and parsley, or oh, lemon well, and look, ginger. What, what about that guy there, the juice guy, who dressed like Arthur Fonzarelli before he did? He had that mechanic onesie. <laughs> the juice master? <laughs> onesie. That he used to that, wear. The coveralls thing. Yeah, the guy who used to lift himself up in the pipe <laughs> position in the <laughs> 50s, which was blew oh, everybody's uh, mind. Oh, oh, um. Fuck you. Jack LaLanne. Jack LaLanne. Jack LaLanne. Jack, 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 Jack LaLanne oh, yeah. would do calisthenics. Yeah. Like jumping jacks and yeah. fucking. Like 90 pulling a train with his teeth. It's right, like, we right. get it. You're strong. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. He's juicing like a motherfucker. That's all he had, though. So turn it, juice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the Juice Master, what was his name? I, I know who you mean. I don't remember. His, all Jack, white eyebrows, that guy? Jack LaLanne or Jack the other guy? We're no, talking about Jack LaLanne. Oh, you know, maybe not, another the guy. The Juice too. Master had those infomercials. Yeah, yeah. The Juice Master. Do you, do you know, know the Juice Master? I really don't. Yeah. Sam, could you look up his name if you're, not, if you're not busy over there having a good that time? That Jake LaLanne guy, do you know he invented all that, the, the basic shit uh, workout stuff like uh, the bench press, the right. incline bench, a lot of that stuff he invented. Really? He had the prototypes and he never got any of it patented. Uh, what oh, what an asshole. So, so, idiot. So, so, yeah, no, no, and he literally said that. He goes, I'm an idiot. But then he came back around. They say there's no second act in he, America. He fuck did. you. He came out with the Jack juice. Lane, yeah. He was done. So how the fuck did uh, people work out before? before the juice that? man. They, did, they just didn't know what to, they were doing. No. Well, they weren't eating like Man. they weren't eating what we're eating. Yeah, and they, they actually weren't, they, they weren't eating cows that ate other cows. <laughs> and their jobs, <laughs> their jobs were the workout. Dude, they're so fucking pumped up with shit. Like kids are hitting puberty at like eight now. <laughs> Is that the guy, Bill? That's uh, remember, that, that's not him. A drink. Whenever you're doing leafy greens, you never. Where do they get an never, audience? I was probably be there. One of those saps. Listen to this guy. Green juice. This looks like, like Jonestown for old people. Concentrated with nutrients. I mean, if. If you want, oh boy! If you want to get real high, oh. you make a big glass of straight parsley juice. Ugh. I like parsley. It'll be the highest high you've This is ever making had me feel life. better about my career, just seeing the gig uh, that he's doing I'm here. I'm serious now. Uh, parsley you know, juice. You've got to be beautiful, dead in half country. the One audience. One of the beautiful, most beautiful yeah. little cities I've ever seen. Uh, the University of Oregon is you there. Be you up there. It's know. too late for you. UG. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're too old. Well, yeah, at that age, fuck. Who cares? That's what you should. Let it all go. I got my juice, uh, and I'm going to start st drinking healthy. Really? She's got fucking, like, 18 pounds of meat in her colon. Right. <laughs> parsley juice. I wonder, because I, I have parsley in my juice, just to make it less yeah. interesting. And uh, I wonder if I had a sugar in your tank, too. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you set it up nicely. <laughs> Thought wrong. <laughs> I can't at least get the, 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 the skit off the road. Nothing. <laughs> uh, nothing. It just sounded a little. I got a little yeah. parsley in my juice. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I might have a giant parsley juice today. I don't know how yeah. good that will be. Why don't we a go get some juice right now? Awful. How is parsley juice any good? You're probably right. Oh, you, you, you make a compelling argument. It's a fucking but garnish. The, zoo, the pelicans. Yeah, yeah. The pelicans love it. But, <laughs> Look at a pelican. But yeah. Yeah, look at that dude. They fly. But, <laughs> I didn't know that till Scarface. Fly, but yeah, uh, but I, I like I like fucking beet. I don't. I can't eat a whole bunch of beets. But beets? you give me a giant beet juice. I hate juice. beets, but in juice, oh, your good. shit is all red. Oh. It's fuck. It's, it's great. Be frightening if you, you know, forget. In, in Australia, that's like a big thing. They put beets on burgers. I was so oh, fucking no. yeah, mad. Why? Well, that, that sounds pretty good. Oh no. Ugh. Oh wait, we haven't talked to you since Australia. God, it damn. ruins it. It makes the patty all fucking red, right. and you take it off, and you just there's no way to not know. It's like that homeless smell. Sure. <laughs> Even after they left the subway car, you know they were there. That's what a beat is on top of a fucking hamburger Yeah, yeah, patty. it just leaves its fucking uh, aura. How's, how was Australia? It's fucking amazing. Yeah, I liked it. Fucking amazing. Where'd you go for two weeks? No, I went for like 10 days. It was oh, the shit. Pretty cool. If you've never been outside the country, that's a great one to go to. It's like what Canada used to be uh -huh. as far as how easy, easy it is to get in. You still need a passport, but <clears throat> they're just cool as hell. Yeah. And I didn't get any anti-American, fucking George Bush, Obama, none of that shit. Uh, they were just cool. What do uh, you do? Because uh, you like cool. you explore. You're one of those uh, rare comics that actually, you know, leave the hotel room. Oh, you know what's funny? One time that we we actually went out and me, Big J, and uh, Nia. Who else was there? I can't remember. I was so jet lagged. But they were saying that they, they had this giant park, and every night, like, like thousands of bats, right at like five p.m. Jesus, just come out. 
like these insane bats. So they t- <laughs> you're disappointed when you realize it was just old people. <laughs> <laughs> so we go down there like assholes, and we're standing there, and we're like, "Where are they? Where the where the fuck are they?" We actually broke into one part of the park, thinking they were in there, and some guy came by. Going, no, he's like, no, mate, they're fucking over there. So we went over to this place. We were told that there was thousands of them. Dude, there was probably like 40. Oh, uh, come on. They just really? sort of spit out. But they were still pretty psycho looking. Like, they weren't right. like those little pussy ones. They were like these giant ones. Right, they right. literally looked like that they would, that they would turn into a Four vampire. Four bits? Got it. I just did Can dumb shit like that. What went, time of night did they out? Went to the zoo. Uh, what else did I do? I mean, I did. I, 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 the, I pretty gr- much stayed in in, in uh, Sydney. I was going to do the Great Barrier yeah, Reef, yeah. but it was like a fucking three hour flight just to get there. Yeah, huh? and then you had to get there, and then if you go fucking scuba diving, uh, you can't fly again. You can't fly For again. A day or two. I just said, all right, you know what? Really, really? twenty four hours, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention, I'm not certified. And this other guy goes, no, this other guy holds your fucking hand and he brings you to the bottom <laughs> of the ocean. And that's just <laughs> one of those things where I'm not doing that. Nah. I'm going to get certified. I'm going to learn. You been, nah, you would have been fine. What if he has a fucking you're, aneurysm yeah. and then I'm down there? You're like, you would have hey, figured right it out. What's the proper way to go back up to the uh, surface? Right. No, they would have gave you some basics. You would have been all right with that, to be honest with you. Yeah, you can't fly it. Uh, that's that's one of those haven't lost so anyone hours yet. Later. Yeah. And then you realize also, like, it's fucking huge. Like, to do anything, it's like, oh, I'm in Australia. Let me go here. It's like, no, you just flew a fuckload over the ocean to get here. And now it's further than flying from New York to L.A. to get somewhere else. It's like oh, yeah, crazy, yeah, no, right? Yeah, no, it's – it's. but the flight over isn't bad at all. If you, really? If you leave around when you're getting ready to go to sleep, you watch two movies – uh, get a dinner and then you just fucking fall asleep for eight hours. Oh, that's twelve has gone of the fourteen. Jeez. You wake up two hours later and you're co- coming off the ocean. Nice. Oh no, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Where airline you go? I can't sleep that long on a flight. <laughs> United. United. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it was gonna be Qantas, but yeah. we flew business class. That the seats went all the way down, oh, that's nice. which nice. is yeah. perfect. Well, if they go that. all the way down, dude. I swear to God, you could fly around the equator. You wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> But if you're in the back of that, if you're flying to Fuck. Minneapolis, you're like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> I want to kill everybody. <laughs> exactly. I don't give a shit that you have to get up to go to the bathroom. I'm not moving. I've yeah. moved enough times. I can't sleep like that on a plane, no matter how comfortable the seat. I can't oh, knock we out for eight hours. Earlier. I, I can't fucking do it. Not I can't do maybe an hour, hour and a half. That's my limit. Dude, I am Mr. Jetway to Jetway on a, on a flight. I will crap out. And the next thing I know, they're opening the door. And you I'm don't like, wake hey, up when you take off? That's perfect. Fuck, I've slept during takeoff. Oh, I've yeah. slept during takeoff. Never. Because I'm too and so landing. tired at that point. I'm fucking walking up to... Like, oh, hey, hey, here we go. Nice. <laughs> Time you travel. how cool that would be, though? Oh, my God. I would love that. I would love no travel. concept it's, of the actual two travel. seconds. It's, oh, I'm in New York. Hey, I'm in LA. That's great. It's fucking time travel. And I'm yeah. awake. Some people can do that. I I, I, I can only do that on like the uh, the red eye. I'm gonna try sleep. to find uh, when we go to the break. I'll show you some of the pictures of being down. Like some of the beaches were insane. I, nice. Uh, yeah, that that's what that's kind of like what they're uh, less pollution over there. What, what you they're think? For. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't think. No, was the we're, we're animals. How was the air? industrialized? <laughs> was the air clear? No, I pretty much seemed the same. Same shit. Same. And it seemed like a safe city. And I, I made a comment about it that it was a safe city. And everybody <laughs> everybody laughed. Oh, really? Yeah, they've had some issues over there. Oh. Not too bad, though. With Not the, the indigenous the population? No, Anthony. Just, just with wondering. the regular people. <laughs> I was just wondering if it was the um, indigenous population. <laughs> with the people of color? Uh, well. It's the same old shit. People going out to clubs, not getting laid. Then they're drunk. And then someone gets fucking stabbed. The same old shit. <laughs> That's you know, story. How far were you from Indonesia there? How far is Australia? That's I pretty close, that's, right? I was going to say it's diagonally up to the left. I would. What is that? North. It uh, is like north, northwest. northwest yeah. But it's not that yeah. far. Yeah, and there's people there going like, "Hey, you know, I booked Singapore. You should go there." And I'm like, "Who the fuck is going to see me there?" No, nah, no, nah, they like. I was like, "All right, fuck it." <laughs> what am Singapore. I going to do? Yeah, I'm going to go to Davenport again. I've just I've done it. <laughs> so you're going to start traveling around, seeing what's <laughs> out there? Yeah, because I figure if I can make a little bit of money. Then I can just go fucking blow it, go look yeah. at the Great Wall of China for free. Get an old fucking, and then, and then get back. You know, watch a couple episodes of like, I don't know, Breaking Bad or Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> Take a sleeping pill and wake up back in L.A. It's shit you want to see anyway, right? Yeah, why not? So if you make some money on the what way, what else am I doing? Or do a gig there, and it's a bust. You're still in Singapore. No, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go back <clears> and. <throat> uh, 
I sold tickets really well over there because of because uh, of the mm. podcast and um, wow, podcast is helping that that much. Well, what I do, what, this is what I do. I go on and if there's a country I want to go to, I just start shitting on it on my podcast, which draws them in. <laughs> and then they start asking me questions, He's and brilliant. then I go, all right. And then I start, brilliant. and then I show them a little uh, maybe bit of I respect. Should check this place out after all, dude. They had. A, I actually, I was over there long enough to. St- I started to understand cricket. Wow. Dude, cricket, it's a round field. If you fuck it, they go and they pit and they got that fraternity paddle, that hazing right. paddle. Yeah. Right. If they throw it in and you swing at it and you foul it off back, that's still in play. And I, evidently, I and never evident, knew that. And evidently, there's two people and they try to run with paddles and they try to run to uh, every right. other base. It's one of the worst. It's worse than hockey the way they shoot it. Because somebody told me that. It's like, dude, I watched that shit for an hour and I never saw that moment happen. I wow, never saw really? It. Yeah, and it's just kind of the same thing if you catch it. If it goes over the wall, it's six runs. <laughs> and if you play, they they got a quick version and a short version uh, uh, and a long version. The long version, it's a five-day fucking match. You thought baseball was boring, dude. Five <laughs> days. <laughs> who thought of this shit? Five. So dude, how this did, is before the internet and you had crazy. shit to but do. But how do you go to yeah. an event that's five days long? And, I and it's just, a regular game too. It's and not it's like, like the, the Olympics. I, I have I have no. And How then many they, hours then they a day up, will they play it? Like if it's a five day event, what is it like an eight hour thing or a three hour thing? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know, but it's funny though. But you, you go there and people are into it, and they start talking, and they sound like they're talking about the Brewers, and you just they got that sports fans just have that sports yeah, fan yeah. vibe. And they get mad at certain players, and they say they suck. I don't know why we ever got them. I mean, just laughing. This guy's fucking amped up about cricket. He's talking about my Jets. Dude, I'll show you. the. If you guys pull it up, one of the worst sports I've ever seen in my life is uh, it's called netball. Wait. I know netball. Hold on a minute. It's like women's basketball where you, you can't dribble. Right. Hold so, on. What's, so that there's like three crazy. quadrants. Yeah. Hold this on. how jet lagged that was. I was actually reading about netball. <laughs> but hold on, Bill. Before we move on to netball, did you like cricket? I could actually see myself gradually getting into it. It's wow. at the same sort of pacing of baseball where it's like, all right, put your feet up, have a couple of beers, uh-huh. shoot the shit. And I just... never understood. There it is. Then there's got to be somebody throwing junk, like a Gaylord Perry guy who's cheating. He's got something on his, <laughs> his thighs. And you're going to like that guy. Yes. Yeah. It's, so. the fuck, it's the oil from inside a kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Some fucking weird fluid that we don't have here. <laughs> oh, by the way, kangaroos, not cute at all. No, not like the cartoony ones. Did that you they pet draw. one? They look no, like big rats. That. No, they they were uh, they, they they look like giant fucking rats with yeah. with an agenda. Really? They they're aggressive. Dude, right? they, their head is you know like whenever they show like the classic like uh, like cowboy scene where there's that that fucking longhorn skull, so yeah. you know that you're in tumbleweed junction or right, whatever. Right. That their head looked like that with just flesh and eyeballs. Oh shit! Yeah, they like were bony looking. Why didn't you pet one? Why would you? They're vicious, yeah, aren't they? Are they mean? I don't know why. Oh no, yeah, no, and evidently even their front fucking claws. They got claws. them claws. Yeah, they, they can they, gut like, you. kick you. Yeah, they could disembowel you. They're fucking yeah. nasty. That's why they do that when they they put the boxing gloves on them, probably, <laughs> so you don't get disemboweled. <laughs> but I went to the zoo and saw all this psycho fucking. Uh, aren't, uh, isn't there a lot of kangaroos? The reptiles, animals. right yep. there. That's a tie pan. That's oh, a that's shit. a good two steps and you're done. Wow, oh, really? Yeah, they had a snake there that had enough venom to kill 200 mice. And I was like, you know, thinking, like, why Why is that? I guess it's because food is so scarce that you, you got him. It's got to be a kill shot. If, if, you, if, you, if you, you get miss, it, you're dead. Yeah, you're going to die. So, uh, Plus, so many other snakes probably came upon a bunch of mice and only killed one. And they're like, what the fuck? I had more venom? <laughs> I could have eaten for six weeks. <laughs> Bill, aren't the kangaroo all over the place, too? I heard kangaroo roadkill, like you get that uh, shit. I, I, Supposedly no, no, they're all if, over the if, place. If you, if you go, uh, I mean, I was like in the city, so it's not like they're sure. going to be hopping around. But like if you get more out, I, th- I, I think they're kind of like they're deer. Right? Really? Do Cause, people cause, hunt them and eat them there? Uh, I, absolutely. Yeah. I would think so. But I, I wouldn't like that's more like, you know, people here. I eat possum soup. Yeah, I yeah. think mm. it's delicious. Like, ah, oh, you got to have some yeah. kangaroo. Like, I'm sure there's like, yeah, there's some sort of uh, Australian redneck show where they're out there. Yeah. Do they Did have big it, feet? They have giant yeah, feet, yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they got those big, long feet with the claws on them. Did everyone go up at the end when they talk? Did they do that whole thing? I was up actually, at the end? I've already lost it. I was starting to pick it up. But, uh, yeah. No, but they they were great, man. They were really... Cool peoples. Yeah, and they and they kind of had like a Boston accent. <laughs> beer. We go beer. Shaq? They just sort of, they sort of stretch it out more. Yeah, and, yeah uh, I can see that. Go to netball now. I just, I just wanted to, you know, see if Bill was into the cricket after. Did all you that. do any radio while you were there? Any press? Yeah, yeah. They, wow, they, they look, were all good. they're good to look at at least. 
Yeah, so you can't dribble. Let me see, Sam. Look at it. It's got a net with no backboard. Look at this. This is like Nerf hoop with chicks. What There's the no hell? dribbling. And for some reason, they never try to block the shots. They don't, like, jump up. Oh, this so, is horrible. Netball. That's stinks. Right there. Ah, like right there. Ah, come on. Girls. Like nobody tries to block the so shot. So once you have the ball, you can't move? Yeah. You have to give it away? And then I believe there's, like, different quadrants. Like, the, like you can go into two out of the three. It's like, yeah, no, they're oh, It's like ultimate Frisbee. But the defense is worse. Look at that. She can't jump up. You see that little fucking ballet Holy move she did? Wait, shit. you're not allowed to leave your feet? Yeah. That emasculated net without a backboard is enraging. <laughs> <laughs> fucking really horrible. The, the defense is worse than like an all-star game. They just stand there and try to pop it up and no one could. Wait, why did she get that shot? I don't get oh, it. Oh, she doesn't. Because there's no way to why. defend against it. No, That's... but why did she get a free shot right under the net? These chicks are good That's looking. That's where no, she huh? was. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That wasn't a, a free legs. shot, dude. There's that a lot of people in this dumb fucking sport, too. Isn't it crazy? Look at this. Yeah, but it's all chicks if you listen. Wow. Listen to the look, crowd. Look, now they get right up there and look. That was that was an attempt at defense. There. Yeah, that was. A, I mean, <laughs> they got a shaky pole and a shaky net. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna guarantee you, it's the only radio show in America right now watching netball. Well, yes, well, completely ignoring the listeners commenting on it. <laughs> netball. It looks like that fucking. It looks like the. It just looks wrong without a backboard. Yeah. It looks like it has cancer. <laughs> it's just <laughs> horrible. The net has cancer. <laughs> No, but this is like the cool thing when you go on the road and you just fucking put this, like you go overseas and you, you just put this shit on and this is what? on. You're like, what the fuck is this? Why would they this? defend them when they're right under the hoop? They just let them shoot. I don't Be get I that because the, the hoop is so small and it's so high and they suck. I mean, well, why, make why it, defend it at all? They always get look, there. They that, always that was the get point. There. I don't get it. I'm mad. Why are they defending their asses off, and then when someone's right under the uh, the the basket with the ball, they don't defend they them anymore? Right. Everything you're saying was what I was yelling at the TV they at like throw two it in the to morning. Each other to the point where they're right next to the basket. Watch, watch, and then they just look, stand there. Look, look, why? Why is she defending? Because if you're her? in that zone, you're probably allowed to just take a free shot. <laughs> That's hilarious. This game stinks. This is terrible. <laughs> well, they're defending their asses off, but as soon as they get under the hoop, then they don't then defend they anymore. Off. Why don't they just play force? But, but, but these That's when are you should hot, be defending so the most. Oh, yeah. Watch. Yeah. Defend, 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 defend. Look at that. Defending. Now, now watch. Give it to the one now, right near the basket. They all now, watch. Yeah, see, what they, are they doing? Because you can only be so close. You just kind of, eh, I don't get this. This is the dumbest game yeah. ever. But they're hot. They're all how is yeah, it not, yeah. how all is it not 860 legs. to 530? <laughs> legs for days. Because of the shaky fucking hoop in the pole. That hoop is enraging. Yep. Yeah. That and then they got, they got all the thing. rugby down there. They had some rugby. funny names for the teams, too. One that you could never have here. There's a team in New Zealand called the All Blacks. <laughs> no way. Because they wear all black uniforms. <laughs> 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 it's just like you wouldn't. Uh, even though we still, we still have the Redskins. But, uh, sure. Yeah. Um, all right, I think I think the fans have. They that's the uh, that's here. amazing, right there. I have a little seen... culture on this show now. You're getting culture. Yeah, just... and then and then you sit over there and they, and they, I saw a great, uh, uh, really great debate about whether or not the people in Australia should be afraid of China or not. Oh, really? It was really interesting. And there's one guy going like, hey, you know, I don't think you should worry about me. And then the other guy was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. And they all they brought up great points. About you know the people at the top scaring the shit out of people, yeah. and uh, yeah, it was. Is it pretty much the same though, like political bullshit and conservative liberal? I thing, hate to say or... it, this it was a it was <clears throat> more of intelligent like uh, uh -huh. back and forth discourse with not like well let me tell you something you liberal <laughs> cunt like everything everything over here just sounds like wrestling like it sounds like two wrestling managers yelling at each other now it's really yeah, bad yeah, yeah. like yeah. this uh but like i'm not saying everything over there was like they definitely had uh they had a state but they had their awful reality shows they had uh one show that i was just trashing though every time i was on that fucking this show called house husbands it was about guys, I guess, stay-at-home guys. House husbands. House husbands. Yeah, it, it's house husbands. And, dude, they had this guy, like, I don't know what, his wife emasculates him, and the, the fucking clip ends with him laying on the side in the bed. He looked Oof. like the biggest pussy ever. Oof. And, you know, your whole version of Australians is they're walking around head-butting each other oh, in the fuck teeth. Yeah. That you know, with, you know, Crocodile Dundee, that's all right. I'm thinking yeah. of, right? Yeah. Tough guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's a knife. <laughs> yeah. No, he's got a bigger knife. Right. Oh, boy. So there you go. So that's Australia. That's fucking cool as shit, man. Bill Burr's here. Uh, promoting what, Bill? 
Obviously, the podcast, which is terrific. I just came by to say hello. All right, fair enough. That's great. Bill Burr on Twitter, and <clears throat> you you follow him on Twitter, then you get to where uh, I'm going to be. I might have one last stand up gig for the year. I'm going to be for the people out on the West Coast. I'm going to be at the Improv in Brea. Brea. I hear that's a great room. I've never done Brea. Yeah, and the the guy who runs it's awesome too. Both out in in the uh, Irvine Improv have uh, really cool staff. It's if, just, it's uh, just by by they're the way, <clears> to get to. I stepped out of the elevator, uh, 38th floor, Water Club, Borgata, and this was lying on the floor. <laughs> just, oh, my God. It's just some dude with his pants down around his ankles passed out in the hallway. Wow. His buddies must have just pants them <laughs> yeah. and left him there. you got to explain that better because when you tweeted that photo, I thought it was one of your guys. No, yeah. no, that no. You're just fucking with one of your guys that, no. that had too much to do. That was no. just some fucking guy. Ah, man, I thought it was one of your guys. No, no, no it was just some what guy. Did you, what did your Twitter caption say? Some, somebody captured my soul. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going yeah, to continue with Bill Burr and uh, stay there, yeah. On the next American War Stories. Battleground. Iraq. Robert Kelly deploys and within an instant realizes no man can prepare for war. We thought we were going to starve, so we like brought like little like uh, bars and stuff like, but there's going to be no food. There was more. F I gained 30 pounds in Iraq. There was, you go to the buffet, there's Chinese food, mac and cheese, barbecue, pizza, ice cream. You could walk up to uh, this ice cream and get as many ice cream bars and sunnies as you want. But no matter how rich the rewards, every American soldier has to experience loss. I was over there, I had two milkshakes. One of the Marines goes, you're going to have both of those, fatty? So I gave him one and then my other one fell. I had to go back and get two more. So tune in as we chronicle the victories and the defeats for American hero, Bob Kelly. I broke my knee, man! On the next American War Stories. You were great on that. Night of, uh, what was it called? Night of a Thousand Stars? Night of Too Many. Or Night of Too Many Stars, right. Too Many, there were Night too many stars too there. Too many stars. And what was uh, that for again? Because then that they was, uh, raised uh, money for this, this great school that they have uh, to help autistic kids. Right. It was an awesome night. I had to go on after th this girl who had autism uh, came out, played the piano, crushed it, <laughs> crushed it. People standing ovation, crying. Wow. It was just classic. And now the comedy. Oh, oh shit. shit. No, but, uh, we watched that, though. You were great. Yeah. Well, what's his face? Hooked me up. Uh, John Stewart goes, don't worry. You know, he's a com comedian. So yeah, he, knows. Yeah. he goes, don't worry. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get him back. So I'll get him ready for the comedy. So he made the joke. You know, yeah, and yeah. now the comedy and blah blah blah, right. and he got him laughing, got him kind of in the mood. But uh, um, yeah, it, it it went great. And then they That's had, cool. and there was literally there were a lot of stars that night <laughs> because I got off, and when I got off, Sting walks by. Oh man! And he goes, he said, he goes, nicely done, and I and I said, thank you, sir. <laughs> What else am I going to say? Yeah, thank you, thanks, sir. Thanks, Sting. Yeah. Sting. Um, <laughs> that son cool. of a bitch, dude. Like He's an asshole. So, no, so no, that means, that no, means no, you no, killed no, him. No, 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 That fucking guy. Our experience has been jacked? he's an asshole. Dude, he is fuck. He should be an asshole. That guy looks unbelievable. <laughs> he looks unbelievable. I said to Louie, I go, I pointed at him. I go, I go, wouldn't it be great if you looked that good at 50? He goes, dude, he's 60. Holy shit. And I shit. knew he was 60. Because I'm a fan of his. I knew he was 60, and he looked so fucking good. I just looked, and I was like, that's 50. Jesus Christ. Dude, yeah. it just... Did you like the police growing up? Growing up? Yeah. You did like him? Oh, so yeah. So did I. Unbelievable, man. I liked him a lot, actually. I don't listen to him as much. I liked him. I wouldn't say I loved him. A couple of songs. I like I like him more now than I did probably yeah. back then. What was I going to ask you? Oh, oh this is it's just three guys. Autism. What the yes. fuck's going on with Autism. I don't know what's going on with autism. What's with autism? Well, what's you, the deal? Yeah. Well, you always got these that, people. You always got that conspiracy thing going, and and some of it I do like, and I know you don't do conspiracy as much, but oh, what the, it seems um, like a lot of fucking kids have autism. Are they talking the about the fuck? In, in, inoculations was the big uh, thing? Yeah, but then that, was, supposedly that was proven that to be wrong, wasn't it, right? But oh, they were saying it. But I, oh, those, I think inoculus? every family's yeah, got, yeah, got was, at least dude, one. Dude, I, I am. I am not. I, I would never do, like... You're not 100% on inoculations? Inoculations, yeah. Part of the virus we're going to inject in you is this, like, is this a sci-fi movie? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I just wear a hat and a you scarf and, and hope for the best <laughs> Bill, before you stick some of the virus in me? Oh, Bill, I'm, you know, I got two kids now, and that's what you go through. You're like, well, what the fuck? You don't know what to do. You got to eradicate it. Of polio is gone. We've, Look at what happened in the country chosen. because of inoculations. It eradicated so yes, many diseases. Yes. 
Absolutely. Well, oh, but, okay, I should clarify it. Yeah. When they come up with the brand new inoculation yeah. and you're showing up and they're telling you it's fucking safe, it's like, no, dude, you are that first wave. <laughs> you're that group of soldiers walking towards yeah, the atom yeah, bomb yeah. that they just Right. We just, as parents, up. go, okay, all right. Like, you you know, you want to ask questions and stuff. Yeah. They got to ask for everything. I'm glad you brought that up because, yeah, and, obviously, yeah. polio. And and then, I'm such, I'm such yeah, a, yeah. No, it's I'm cold, in hey. so over my head how, and half the conversations I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, but, I mean, then it's just easy to go, all right, fucking do we it. We used to have the we that inoculation gun. <laughs> like, <laughs> like everybody at With a certain mark, age has that mark. 68 or 69 gun. On, the, on the right. <laughs> yeah. and, and like kids don't have that fucking thing. We were branded. Wow. Like every fucking American was well, branded well, they, back then. They didn't have thing. the needles figured out yet. No. Now and the that, needles and, they used, you, they, you could barely tell. I don't know what it did. And, that, that was, and then there was a big... Uh, there was a big thing with women, like, where would you get it? Well, if I'm going to wear a strapless dress, right, right. Right. on the back, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the flu shot recently. I didn't even notice the needle. It's like, all right, yeah, they come a long way with that shit now. finally. I love to scream What's the last bloody time you murder. Got the flu? Last year. I got kids. You got If you're a parent, they basically highly recommend you get the flu shot. That's yeah. bullshit. And I also get the flu really bad every year. No, so. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I, I, I gotta realize who I'm talking to. Hey, you know what's of funny course. is, is uh, you know, yet another presidential election went by, and the population problem was never brought up one fucking time. So here's my new conspiracy theory. You know that Bilderberg group where uh -huh. they, all, they all get together? All sure. The, all the, I think that's where they talk about the real fucking problems. You think that's, that's where the real problems get yeah, discussed? They wait till all the waiters leave. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. They've, after they've brought in their epic fucking food. They wait till they leave. You I know. think the real uh, evil is build a bear. That's okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's, build build a bear. That, glad, was, that was a bomb. That's what that was. <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad that was worse than mine earlier. Oh, it was you, terrible. You I knew it was going to bomb. I'm just, uh, build a bear. I still don't get it. What is build a bear? That's he's a guy people... named... Uh, oh, boy. He's, I was going to say he's a guy named Bill who's really stocky. <laughs> build a bear. You don't know the... <laughs> you don't go to the mall, do you? Huh? It's in every mall, basically. What is in every mall? Parents take the kids build there their and they bear. build their own stuffed little bear. And it is called home. build a bear. Oh, yeah, but, dude, I'm I'm not in that wheelhouse. No, no. I don't see it. You know, like that whole shit, like, I you know. I observe everything. I never saw a mattress commercial until the day I wanted to buy a mattress. And then, <laughs> magically, it all went away. After I got to bed. All right, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have I don't have kids, so I fucking so yeah. that stuff is yeah. like yeah, I don't gotcha. I don't see it. Hey, uh, Pat's Jets uh, Thursday. Yep, that's always a close one. Mm. Even though uh, we we did so well, dude. That Andrew Luck's the real deal, man. He, know even he though you know he threw a couple pick sixes, that guy's uh, <laughs> he's gonna be all right, dude. You got to hand it to the Colts. You know, going from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck, that's like the Forty ers I feel going. I know it's too early to say this, but going from oh, Montana it's gonna take a couple to, years, to Steve obviously. Young, but like. Usually they got a quarterback though. No, but usually, yeah. When 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 you that's obvious. When Dan Marino leaves, mm -hmm. then it's 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 like a fucking ten fifteen year before the next chosen one right. comes along. It's very no, rare. Already. So they they rolled the dice. I think they you can already say that they won because mm. someday you know Tom Brady's going to retire. As much as that kills me to say it, and I really hope that we don't go back to like Scott Zolak <laughs> two point oh or something like that. <laughs> Who won the game? Who won the uh, Patriots? Patriots won. Oh, yeah. won. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 59 24. Jesus. I just heard Gronkowski broke his forearm. Oh. Yeah. And uh, my buddy Verzi's always like, why are they still in the game? And I guess he broke it like with like five minutes left. Oh, we shit. Those guys don't we, notice, I think, yeah. half the time. They realize after the game, oh, wait, maybe I should get this checked out. They're animals. NFL fucking players are just animals. People. Who had the shit stain? Someone tweeted me a picture. One of the guys just had a shit stain. It was obviously it was a shit stain. So now I want to know the story if the guy actually does shit in his pants shit just to make pants. it that more miserable for everybody on the line. Oh, imagine that. Did you see You're the picture fucking... going around yesterday? It wasn't dirt. The guy shit his pants. I don't think. And he, I think they yeah. shit their pants on purpose. No, I don't think so. Some no, I, guys, I think you got whoa. beat up by a football player. No, no, They're man. animals. They shit their pants. <laughs> me, they're me. Me and Jimmy have a put good... Put me in lockers. Jimmy and, and I, me, me and Jimmy, out. whatever. We have a good friend, Tyson Walter, who uh, played in the NFL. He's told us the did inside he shit. His, did he shit his pants? Well, these guys will not shower or brush, brush their teeth, all that shit, to, to make it more miserable on the line. Oh, no, I, don't I don't know if it's to the point where they're shitting their pants, obviously, but... Yeah, they wear the Shady. same. They they don't ever wash their uniforms. Couldn't you so just, just do really something else? Yeah, Couldn't exactly. you just do something? I, I think at that point you're inconveniencing yourself. Yeah. If you shit right. yourself, I think what probably happened is he got hit so hard, 
and combined with that, what he had for breakfast or dinner, he maybe shit himself a little <laughs> yeah. inadvertently. I Not wish I could find the picture now. What do you think of the I'm, Jets? I'm kind what, of what do you think of the Sanchez thing, man? What about it? Um, well, it, at first, most he, of us fucking hate him at this point. Well, at first, he wasn't as good as they were saying. Now, I don't think he's as bad as everybody's saying. So that guy, it, he's got it, skills, but he doesn't. He he fucking falls apart in pressure situations. Uh, you're not going to win a fucking Super Bowl ever with that. Well, also, yeah, he's got the skills. I would never deny that. Also, I can't believe we'd be defending the Jets. Here. <laughs> I mean, right. like every like key guy you've had has kind of gone down. Yeah, I know. We've had uh, a tough year Reeves of injuries and gone down. Of course, and, uh, Eddie Skullhead. I but then you any, got. I don't know the names anymore. Then it turns out no <laughs> I know one. A lot of guys. No one wanted Tebow on the team, so you know they got to they got to trade him and get him the fuck out of New York. Woody Johnson wanted him because he, he. He's they're allegedly he's going to go to Jacksonville, which is the Buffalo Bills of the South, right? And that's just one, you know. Yeah, but you know he played his uh, college ball down there, so be that's good one door away. From There's no being. way he's on the Jets next year. No one wants him there. The owner wanted him, but obviously Rex Ryan did not want to deal with Tebow at all. That's very obvious now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you see him get tackled the other day? And that yesterday, and that guy got up. And I didn't did, watch he it did at the, all. He did the Gator. The Gator. Uh, he did. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, it was great. I didn't watch it all yesterday. I was. Uh, I don't know. I was. They won. No, I know because I didn't watch. That's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the big game Thursday. Pats Jets. Well, this is the thing. We already beat you guys, and it's always a close game. But the only thing I would say, just because you guys have so many injuries. Uh, I don't know, but I will tell you this: our secondary will make anybody. We look, we look good yesterday, but um, our secondary will make will make any quarterback look like mm. Elway. Yeah. <laughs> but we we recently signed that that kid from uh, from Tampa who he had a pick six for a touchdown, but then he also he also got burned a couple of times. So I'm hoping it's just rust. Well, it's stupid they're making these guys play on three days rest. Oh, the, the Thursday night, if you don't have the NFL Network, you're not missing anything with that Thursday night game. It's like ha. the worst matchup. It's always like Jacksonville versus the fucking Panthers. <laughs> and everybody's so tired. <laughs> they, they just played three days earlier. Oh, yeah, that is fucked up. The punter's sticking people. <laughs> right. The guys are going down. <laughs> Forces a fumble. Yeah. They want, they're, they're trying to get football every day of the week. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> they're almost there. Yeah, you get yeah. the Saturday games, you got the Sunday, you got the Monday, oh, you got how, the Thursday. How, how about hockey? They, they think it may be taking a couple weeks off just letting everything settle right <laughs> we're, we're in the middle of the year i am getting we're not i am we're announcing not hockey this, this year to the nhl like they really give a shit but i am i am when i get off this road run here i'm i'm fucking getting the nba league pass i look at the celtics we finally got younger we can actually run Did the you guys court. get younger yeah, I haven't paid attention for the first to time guys. in like five years I didn't even know that, to be honest Dude, with you. every year it was more elbow and knee pads the entire <laughs> fucking sleeve. Everybody looked like they're wearing, like, pantyhose. <laughs> That's when you know your team's on. Oh, it was ridiculous. It used like, to be... head to fucking toe, everybody on there had those, <laughs> those that Iverson sleeve on both arms and their legs. Rem the, the fucking Wes Unseld knee pads. And I was just like, these guys. Remember when uh, we were growing up, you're... Well, now they just wear it for whatever, but, you know, when your star player finally... Oh, he's got one elbow pad and then... Next year, two oh, yeah, You're right, that's man. It. It's hilarious. That's it. When Not Shaq first hurt, hurt his toe, that was the beginning of the end. Uh, right. <laughs> that's just that, that one little injury it just keeps leading and leading, you know? Really funny. I actually heard an interview with Kobe Bryant. They they said, uh, it was after the game, he was putting ice on. They say, what hurts? And he goes, everything. Oh, wow. And they go, no, really, what hurts? And he's like, everything. Everything fucking. And you think about it. Jesus. Just, you know, that's running around at that's my age. Getting away well, I guess I'm you. 10 years older getting than away him. away from you. Oh, this Kobe. 34. He's, he's getting up there now. He's, but but he, the amount of games and the playoffs, mm, he's had all those championship yeah. runs. Like that guy, it's like he's played like, you know, 16, 17 years of basketball, whatever. But he's still a beast. You could just banging into each other out there. Just fucking elbows in your ribs. Dude, just like, running up just and down. Hurt. Just running back. Yeah, yeah. Starting and stopping. <laughs> over and over again. Over and over and over again. Can you imagine trying to play fucking tennis full out? <laughs> no. I think my, my fucking, my shin would shoot through my leg. <laughs> yeah, when they sprint and stop on a dime uh, no, they, they, over they, and over again. They yeah. should be able to They're... do roids and androstein and all of that. It's, yeah. it's all great because it's just research for us. You yeah. see that Cynogenics, those old guys who are shredded, that's HGH. Mm. And that's because of all these fucking athletes that they're chastising. Like, they're the ones that, that use it. Right. Dude, when we were younger, you took roids, and within two seconds, you punched a girl in the face through a wall. <laughs> and now they got, like, that clear stuff. It's like... It's like smoking weed now where you got yeah. the vaporizer. They, they're just sort of gradually. I'm telling you, we're all going to be on fucking roids. Is it HGH out. bad for you now or is it okay? I, I, I don't know. I'm not a doc. I mean, it's not as bad. 
I don't think. Yeah. Human growth hormone. I don't know. Huh? Yeah. Uh, a lot of. Did you see what he just did there? Yeah. That's exact. That's all my opinions. All my opinions. I get on a roll, and then there's one follow up question, and the whole thing just and fucking just goes, goes in the yeah, shitter. It's over. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious though. I have no I'm, idea. It used to be advertised on the Art Bell show. He would advertise a HBO, HGH, human growth hormone. I'm like, I wonder mm. if that's dangerous. A lot of office guys are starting to do roids. I read an article Watch. on it. Yeah, just to get an edge on the competition. Steve Carell and sleep. get an edge. I swear to God, and to sleep less and all Ooh, that. They're boy. actually. I heard you. Uh, they're actually doing that in the office Ooh. now too. It's not just for sports. I missed it. What did Rain you say? Wilson. Uh, office joke. Yeah, I just double bombed. <laughs> it was good. Oh. oh, I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> uh, Bill, you got a great take on sports. I always love that. I really do. Oh, thank you. Uh, we're not playing hockey this year, right? Uh, I don't give a shit. You know, right? The NHL no, you know, no, stinks, no, dude. No, you know what? It's the the, I, the no, game is both... great. The players are great. This is the owners. The owners are basically saying we don't agree with what we agreed to. So basically, the players never have an agreement. Then. Is that what you're saying? So basically, the only way we still agree with it two years later is if we got the better end of the deal. And if we don't, we're taking our stadiums and going home. Wait, you got to break it down more. I don't get it. They basically, like four or five years ago, whenever they had their last, or maybe the last time when they came out of it, they, they, they had this agreement that, you know, your lawyers look at it. Everyone agreed. Yeah. Both sides agreed. Gotcha. Both sides agreed. Okay. It's not up yet to be renegotiated. And they made more money than they've ever made last year. They're on NBC again. They haven't been on network television since the fucking seventies. They had they have the uh, the Winter Classic. They had all this great momentum. The, the oh, Olympics man. were great. Yeah. yeah. And they just decide that they're not making enough money. So fuck the agreement that we agreed to. What scumbags? The, the split was basically fifty-seven percent to the players and forty-three percent of like some sort of ad revenue. That's when it goes beyond me. So and the the players I think negotiated down to like fifty-three. And like that's not enough. For last I heard that the owners came in, they were like, you know, we get fifty three and you get forty seven. Wow. Yeah. So people should just stop going. That's the only way is you, you teach these shitty whether it's the owners or the athletes. This time it sounds like it's obviously the owners. Right. Don't go. People complain about Yankee Stadium, like yeah, or, or, or Giant Stadium. They got that big thing. You got to buy your own seats. You got to pay. Don't do it. <laughs> that's how happen. I avoid that fucking seat tax at these. Pieces of shit put on you, I won't go. A right. person that doesn't go, someone else will. But, but I mean, if everybody didn't go, like I love that Yankee Stadium has fucking open seats because they're charging fifteen hundred like a game. Playoffs, I love that playoffs, empty Greed seats, fucks fucks that. But Amazing. How, how brilliant is the licensing uh, fee for the seats? They figured that out where you have to actually amazing. buy for the license before you even buy your season tickets. <laughs> That's amazing. No, to I got to tell you right now that I actually. How the fuck did they get I, that past that, all that, of us? That should be the go fuck yourself moment. You <laughs> know what? Course. I think fans need a union, but we're too stupid and we have nothing better to do. And they know as much as we're like, well, I'm never coming back. I know the there second you, you drop the puck, I'm yeah. going to be sitting there with my fucking dun, face up dun, against dun, the glass. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the Florentine. Yay! 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 What a bunch of assholes. But a licensing fee before you even fucking go to a game or yeah. buy your tickets. You got to uh, purchase that now. I stopped going years ago. Fuck them. Yeah, because I remember you used to Fuck be. Like, he was a maniac, dude. He used to he go around. Football. No, but and even like the Yankees, Yankees yeah, he yeah. used to walk around with like the, the headphones on. Oh, wow. And we used to trash him, making fun of him, and he didn't give a shit. I still remember you getting you getting pissed when uh, Knobloch got the yips. He would actually do bits about the Yankees, like in depth <laughs> bits. About, <laughs> he would make a reference to fucking Knobloch throwing one in the stands. I loved it. Oh, I remember I worked at Brett Butler. I opened for Brett years ago at Caroline's, and it was the Yankee playoff, and I was out of my mind that weekend. And I saw her years later in Logan Airport. And she remembers. She's like, "You still obsessed with the Yankees?" Oh, but really? I was so <laughs> out of control that weekend that I that I and then I just met enough of them. And they're just, some of them I'm sure are really cool, but so many of them were cocksuckers. I'm like, you know what? Fuck these guys. Dude, those, Fuck them. Those Knobloch tosses were fucking hilarious. Yeah, they were great. Oh, my God. How, how is a ground ball to fucking second an event? <laughs> <laughs> You'd sit there no. and go, oh, fuck. That's one of the worst things I ever watched. Oh. And then, then they put him in left field. Then he was a D. The guy was out of baseball at, like, 33. It's one of the worst. Th like, Terrible. Maybe you should stop with his OCD hat touch before he got in the fucking batter box. <laughs> hat, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, hat, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. <laughs> That's great, you fucking. <laughs> have you satisfied whatever the itch in your brain is? Yeah, but everybody does that. They, I all, know. they all Great. got their little ritual. Oh, I know. They do. But how about this? Fucking Gina with the hand back. 
Well, how yeah. about, you know, the fact that Jeter is fucking, as much as he irritated me personally. He did. He's just, you know, whenever Jeter he's said, doing work. Fuck you. I'm signing uh, autographs for these chicks. I'm taking pictures with these girls. Little Jimmy Norton can go fuck himself. He just didn't like me, and I sense that. And I've met enough people that I didn't like that I pick it up. Yeah. Is that, so, is that, that turned me off. That's another yeah, duty but... picture. Is that duty? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now people are sending me pictures of football players. It looks players like a rhino's duty. asshole. <laughs> is that duty or mud? Jesus Christ. I don't know, uh, Opie. Why are you obsessed with men's assholes with <laughs> shit on it? I really, you're really ruining the game for me. <laughs> Oh, someone sent me the picture. Uh, That's not uh, the picture that was sending me last night, but whatever. Opie, gonna get to the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is that shit or is that uh, mud? I think it's shit. <laughs> Gotta get to 10 o'clock somehow, Bill Burr. <laughs> 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 no, that was actually, yeah, I guess our banter was so bad, he had to go back to the no, shit no, no. football pants. You saved us today, man. We're a tired show today. Oh, I fucking was done. You fucking oh. saved us. So we we'll, some we'll tease something. I, I do have a, a big event that's going to involve yes. a lot of friends oh, nice. in, a, in, a, in, yes. a, in a show possibly here in New York City and uh, that I will be uh, when calling we, in. When are we going to announce this? Soon? Probably in like another week to 10 days. Great. Yeah, and we're I'll very excited in. about this. Yeah. And there's going to be like confetti coming down and <laughs> American flags and it's stuff be like great. that. It's going to be that. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be amazing. Hell yeah. It will. We'll have a Marine sing the national anthem. Oh, be we're going to go all out. Patriotic. Nice. So we'll announce that out. after Thanksgiving. Absolutely. Yeah. Can't wait to see who shows up. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jimmy. Hey, did anybody see any movies? Uh, I saw Flight. How was it? Denzel was great because he put weight on. He looked like a bloated alky. He was fucking tremendous. <laughs> He's awesome. But he really is just so great. But yeah. I, the, the movie itself, uh, I, I fucking hate comic relief characters. It's like I, he was giving such, the, the story. and it Like was, the one on the Opie and Anthony show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the one. <laughs> But uh, I like John Goodman was in it, and he wasn't necessary. And I just, I, I there were so many things I didn't give a shit about storyline wise in the movie. It was like, what are you guys trying to make me think here? What are you, what are you doing? Mm. But as an alcoholic, I thought he played it really, really fucking well. And yeah, Cheadle was that. great as his lawyer. But John Goodman, who's a great actor, wasn't needed. I don't really? need this wild guy to come in. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> What's his name? The big bruiser. Can you, can you please do that again? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a big bruiser moment. Oh, is that it? Ugh. It's the big wild guy. But Denzel played a heartbreaking drunk, and and it was a lot of believable moments in it. That just yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, you know, the end of it, I just didn't give a fuck about no. certain relation. When movies try to force certain relationships on you, they absolutely lose me. We all yeah. we all saw the previews. He flies the plane upside down. Do you do you, do you make noises in the movie? I'm just picturing him going. Ah, oh, no, I make mo Ugh. noises during the previews. Yeah. When I see the certain, like when I watch the, and I love Seth Rogen. I think he's one of the funniest guys in Hollywood. I love Seth Rogen. But when I saw the previews for him uh, and Barbara Streisand's movie, oh, God. that Ooh. fucking annoying Yenta, and I was just like, I didn't see that. Fire that up. Fire that what, up. What's that about? It's called Guilt Trip. That's about 30 years behind the times comedically. Yeah. <laughs> he goes Fire really that up. bad. I want to see this. I love he, a good douche chill. He goes away with it's his mom. Really bad. But again, I, I, I feel bad not liking something Seth did because he no, always Seth makes me fine. laugh. This will right. be something. He'll buy That's a house fair. off this one. I would like to see it, but apparently uh, we're having fun at home watching. Um, um, You've got to ask yourself. Jesus, who's that? Is there, uh, uh, it's not the movie yet. She's I hot. Know. I want to date an Asian girl. I, they've never done anything for me. I, she's Asian. Yeah, but, she's not Asian. Oh, I just uh, let me just throw that in then. No, you want to you want to date a chick. Uh, white chick that kind of looks Asian. Yep, you're right. I've seen this chick before in movies and stuff. I yeah, don't know what her name is though. Cool. Try some <laughs> awful name, Becky Turdsbury. <laughs> <laughs> Becky Turdsbury. <laughs> some horribly unsexy name. <laughs> And when she marries you, she's not going to change her name. Hey, it's Jesse Blooch. Oh, so long. Okay. You know, Andy oh, invented a new product, oh, and he's going to travel door to door selling it. Like Avon? No. Or brushes or something? No, oh. not even close. Are you seeing anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Please don't be disgusting. I thought you were seeing that girl with the We have the record scratch stop. Bethany? This is actually a good cut. When I was eight years old, you haven't been on one date since then. This is you worrying about me. You don't have to because I'm fine. Do you want to come on my trip with me, Mom? You want to drive cross country with me? Yeah. No, it's, you know, we won't be gone long. It's only eight days. I can't wait! Andy, I am so excited. 
All right, the adventure begins. Promise me you'll never pick up a hitchhiker. I promise I will never pick up a hitchhiker. Good. They rape. They're ready for your presentation. Oh, fantastic. Good luck, sweetheart. Thank you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Exit highway oh. in point five oh, 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 miles. What are you doing, Mom? Oh, well, please turn that off. Mom, oh, get off the Help. freeway. Like that? Whoa. Oh, boy. You know, I think I'm going to drive from now on. Good idea. Do you have any rooms available? I'm here your lady. It's terrible. It's Andy, they have clip-on frog earrings. Oh, dude, don't wink at me. It's my mother. Are you insane? Look, there's a restaurant there. Does that say tapas? I love tapas. Oh, That's God. not what it says, Ma. Please don't sit um, near me. When you were a baby, your penis started to turn purple. I almost threw up all over the table. You tell me if your penis started to turn purple. Oh, My penis God. could literally grow an eyeball and I wouldn't tell you. Hi. If you can eat our 50-ounce steak in under an hour, you get it for free. You know how I can eat. Is that your mom? I would not lie Ah, I bet that. he realizes his mom is cool. Really didn't go oh. 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 Yes. Mom is cool. I to see the Grand yeah. Canyon. I know. How long are we supposed to look at it? Ten minutes. Seems disrespectful. I, I hate the music it. stops. It's like DeRose's body. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. He means Streisand. A nice chapter. Mm. He's a beautiful writer. It's okay. I picked up a hitchhiker. Hi. Well, I'll give you my number. Can you give us a call when you're in town? Yeah. You guys should probably keep in touch. Holy that shit. That music stop. And then a line, and they did. Do, 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 do you know do, do, do. if somebody? Uh, it's infuriating. I would love. I would love somebody to break into an office and we mows down thirty people, and they say, "Who is it that he killed?" Well, they're they're a company, and they do movie trailers. Yes, and he killed all of them. <laughs> That's horrendous. It's well, what are you supposed to do with that? I, but I but I mean know. the punchline. 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 <laughs> oh, mom's a dork. Mom's a dork. <laughs> mom? But it's part of Streisand. <laughs> She's cool. Mom's cool. <laughs> but it's Barbara Streisand. She's funny, right? It. She's actually a good uh, actress. She was she great. Him. I like her. You know how I like Barbara Streisand? When she's fucking murdering Leslie Nielsen in Nuts oh. as a hooker. She was great in, in like, Nuts. She can act. But that fucking shit... Mom is that's just a terribly written movie. That could be, that's comedy yeah, in Hollywood, yeah. right? That there. stinks. That's, there's a no, million movies they, they, like that. Not, that. That's exceptionally bad. No, that's there's a lot just that's, like that's, that. That's, that's the trailer represents bad. it perfectly. And it, and it looks like she didn't even, you know, travel around for the movie because you know she's a diva. So it looks like they they just set up a lot of fucking set sets. Up some shots you know what it is? They said to the, her even the even the Grand Canyon they they filmed from behind. I wonder if there's a shot that her. proves that she was actually there. <laughs> Because they show their faces. They yeah, can yeah. do that well, anywhere. They, and also, the, <laughs> if, if they can do that without doing it, the movie people are also going to try and save money. Yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't just blame Babs. No, no, they said to her, do you want to do the locations? And stop. She said no. <laughs> All right. With the fucking music cues. You don't like that? It stinks. It's terrible. I fucking despise movie trailer yeah. people. At least it's the pattern. I saw oh. Wreck-It Ralph. How was that? How was yeah. it? it was good. I, I liked it. I really that. liked it. The Twilight Sarah movie Sarah Silverman is, uh, is, is great in it. Yeah? Yeah. It was really great. And she, you know what I liked? She actually did a voice. So I didn't realize it was her until like a third of the way in. Oh, it wasn't just her voice? Yeah, I went to yeah. Nia like, hey, I think that's Sarah Silverman. She was like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> no, but I don't like that thing now <laughs> where like people just, like, they, they back in the day, they didn't give it to somebody famous because you're just going to picture them in the booth. And that's yeah, what yeah. I do. That's what I do. Yeah, do so I think you should do like mm -hmm. when, when Jay, Jay Moore did one and you couldn't tell it was Jay. Like he, uh -huh. he did a voice. It's like, all right, if you're going to take it from a voiceover actor, go in there and do a voice. Yeah. Don't just fucking walk in there and talk how you talk. Yeah, when you hear Ice Age, it's like fucking, you know, you know the people. You know, oh, that's it, Dennis it Leary. A little bit. It's Dennis Leary's voice. He's talking and he's saying Dennis Leary things. Yeah. It's I like, didn't see that one. Yeah, that's the one where he's I've, like saber tooth tiger. I've created a great cartoon voice. I'm, I do it on all auditions. Oh. Let's hear it. What time is we going here? <laughs> Let's go home. I actually like that. That is actually not too bad. Thank you. That's that's, ti that's Tiger who have a stroke. I'm, I want a cartoon about a tiger who, who's had a stroke. <laughs> Jesus. 
Bill. That sounded oddly like a wise old age, like Yoda ish. Yes, yeah. yes, it did. It had a it was Yoda ish. Tiger, who so. have strength. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to hear more oh, of this. Chipperson. Wow. And I have so many of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, now, how would a giraffe sound? Oh, yeah. I'm very tall. <laughs> All right, now. I'm right. eating apples. <laughs> Bill, it was good to see you. Yeah, thank you for uh, <laughs> we'll have having an announcement on the show soon. No, I'm glad uh, I, I came in. Yeah, uh, Monday Morning time. Podcast is terrific. Bill Burr on Absolutely. Twitter is terrific. That's right. I'm going to start trashing Singapore. So My, um, some tickets, yeah. tickets, tickets. <laughs> I, I just got a text from an old college friend of mine. He says that you're by far the best guest on the show. Oh, oh, I love He's a huge fan oh, of Jesus. Kevin O'Kane. Better than DeRosa? In Rochester. The Teen Idol sensation? Oh, the sensation. The sensation. Joey, Day. Joey back. Day. You're his favorite, so I just want to let well, you know Well, thank that. you. Joey Day. I love having thank Bill in. I was going to go, actually go home yeah, I was going to bail at eight. Because I felt like shit. And uh, I fucking I love Billy when he comes in. It's we rode you today, buddy. Oh hell yeah! We there were tired go. today, and you came in. We're like, I ate up some minutes. Right? <laughs> yeah, you absolutely exactly. did for all my us. Fouls. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you absolutely did it for us today, Bert. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. The Anthony Show is pretty much over.